The first snow above tree line has come early this fall. Our destination today is 13,207 feet above sea level. And I'm not sure if we're gonna make it due to the fresh snowfall, but we're gonna try. We have a diverse group of rigs with us today. And we're going to travel up a trail that dates back to 1864 and was once the highest elevation wagon road in the state of Colorado. We're gonna face tight switchbacks, narrow shelf roads, and rock obstacles. Loving it. And if we make it to the top of the pass, then we're gonna be rewarded with one of the most breathtaking views of the Colorado Rockies. This is Argentine Pass. The trail starts off way more rocky than I remember. Probably because it has just gotten more washed out with the increased traffic on the trails these days. Several big boulders, a little tire spin, and the Bronco is through. Todd doesn't have any issue and has lifted F-150 on 35s, getting through the opening spot. And even Javier crawls through easily in a stock Tacoma TRD. We're a little ways into the trail now, we've come upon a vintage scout that we have to squeak by on this narrow shelf route. That way a little bit. Yeah, now straighten it up. You're clear. You're good. All right, you're clear past them now. Yep, still going that way. Turn that way. Now straighten it up. Yeah, you're good. You got it. Yeah, you're clear. Yeah, you're good. Todd, go that way. Yep. That way a little bit. Yep, that's good. You're clear. With some simple spotting, everyone makes it by scot-free past the scout, and now we're back on the trail. After stopping at Waldorf Mine for a few minutes, it's time to make our bid for the top of the pass. We can see a lot of freshly fallen snow above us, but up ahead we have a rock obstacle to contend with first, before we can start worrying ourselves about snow.
David makes it around the rock obstacle without issue. Now it's Javier's turn in his Tacoma. Hold up. As you come up here, make sure your wheel is turned to the left, and then come this way. And he makes it up without any problem. <laughs> now it's Todd's turn. I expect him to take the harder line. Are you going this way? Or are you going that way? This way or that way? And he does as always. Come my way a little bit. Come out, yep, just like that. You got it, just easy. There you go, buddy. Yes, sir. How's that rear locker treating you? I'm loving it. <laughs> loving it. Now, it's my turn in the Bronco. Yeah, the only thing I'm worried about is my belly on this. You look pretty good, Jeff. Now you can start your turn right there. A little bit of a turn. You're going up on a rock on the uh, passenger. Nice. Nice. Nice, Jeff. Hey, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Sweet. After this rock obstacle, I'm ready to cut a rug and see if we can make it to the top.
Scott and I are now leading and it's time to cruise. And I really want to make it to the top before the drone battery dies. We've got an easy section of shelf road to travel up here before we make it to a large basin above us. The wind is starting to pick up now and it's feeling like winter is right around the corner. We've made it up that shelf road and now we're traveling to a tight switch back before the last summit push.
I wonder how washed out this switchback is now, Jeff. Man, I have no idea. I guarantee you it's probably worse than it was a few years ago. I have to bet you a dollar. I'll take you up on that. I hope that Coma can make it up. Yeah, me too. It looks worse, but not terrible. Let me see how this goes in old red. Oh yeah, man. You got it. Easy. Definitely worse than it's ever been before. The Bronco made easy work of that switchback. A little bit of tire spinning combined with the sound of birds chirping above treeline is like a symphony to my ears. Final push to the top of Argentine Pass. By the looks of it, it doesn't seem like the snow is going to stop us. Should be a steady and easy climb from here with that switch back behind us. Roman makes it up without issue in his Lexus LX. Why I absolutely love to wheel. Me too, buddy. This is life right here. Check out that entire basin to the left, full of fresh snow. It's insanely beautiful. Got it. Whoop, Jeff. No snow on the trail to shut us down anymore. Yeah, Todd. I think we got it, dude.
summit of Argentine Pass, 13,207 feet above sea level. It was said somewhere that you can see one-seventh of Colorado from this point, and I can see how that could be true. The bird's eye view of Chihuahua Gulch below us, the perfect view of Gray's Peak at 14,278 feet, and Torrey's Peak behind it at 14,267 feet. This place is magical. What do you think, Wyatt? It's nice, beautiful. I have to be with my son here. Hey, Tommy, Gabriel. Tommy, hi. Hi. You got a cheers? What do you got there? Oh, yeah, buddy. This was incredible. Beautiful views, man. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, it's perfect. We really lucked out. This was wonderful. Baby and the wife loved it. That's the most important thing. That's right. <laughs> After spending some time at the summit with good friends, it's time to head back down the trail, back to the rat race of civilization. It's easy work of the switchback coming down, even Javier and his Tacoma. Perfect. Perfect. I can't think of a better way to spend a Sunday in Colorado in the fall than in this magical high country, wheeling with good friends. Thank you. 